Our next guest is an inspiration. Andrew Jones has no pulse. So I have an artificial heart. I carry it around in my backpack. And uh, yeah, it's uh, what's keeping me alive. Obviously, you're still making it to the gym regularly. Oh, emphatically, I'm not missing a day. I fell very ill uh, about a year ago, and I was hospitalized, and I was put on the transplant waiting list. So you've had this artificial heart for how long now? I've had it for about a year. How does it pump your heart? So it uses the power from two batteries that's in my backpack and powers a small pump that flows the blood out of my left ventricle into the rest of my body. And you're on the list. Yes. Just two months after appearing on our show, Andrew Jones got the call of his life. A lot of you know me as the fitness model who carries his heart around in a backpack, but guess what? I have a new heart now, no more backpack. About a month ago, I'm about to lay down to take a nap, and I get a phone call. It was the hospital. They asked me, you know, how would you feel if we told you that we might have a heart for you? The first thought that I had was, am I ready for a heart transplant? <laughs> When packed a bag and I was on the operating table just a few hours later. I was in the hospital for recovery for a little bit over two weeks. You sound good, you, you sound look good. good. Mm. Oh my god. Did I feel good? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tubes and all. After a successful transplant, the body is going to want to fight it. It sees it as a foreign object. To counter that, the medical team will put you on immunosuppressant medication. I'll be on these medications for uh, the rest of my life. But it's been just over a month since my transplant, and I'm feeling fantastic. I don't have to worry about making sure my batteries are charged. Or should I say the only battery I worry about charging now is my phone. <laughs> and I can take a normal shower. I can go swimming again. Every day I've been getting up at 6.30 a.m. to go on my walk down my street. Now that I have this new heart, I'm looking forward to doing it all. So I'm here to tell you that you can push through anything to achieve the things that you want to achieve. One of my favorite guests ever, and it's still too early for Andrew to fly, but he joins us now via Skype from the comfort of his home. Andrew, how are you, Hello, buddy? Andrew. We miss seeing that infectious smile around these parts, but uh, we're just so happy for you. Thank you so much. Um, I'm really grateful to have been able to made it to transplant. One that I really have uh, my mindset to is training and competing for the Transplant Games of America and the World Transplant Games. And to give you an idea of what that is, it's kind of like an Olympics for people who have been affected by transplant, living donors, and recipients. Wow. That is so cool. And Andrew, if, you're, if your ears were burning, I was given a few quotes to Men's Health Magazine just yesterday about what an inspiration you were. How did, uh, talk to us about photo shoot. Uh, so the photo shoot was a lot of fun. It was uh, definitely my first magazine shoot, and I'm really excited to see the final result. Well, and, and one of the things that I'd love to ask you before we let you go, and hopefully we get you to fly back out here to L.A. soon, but anyone out there who's on the fence about organ donation, what would you say to them, Andrew? I would ask them if they knew someone, if they, if they have someone that they care about, which they definitely do, would you, you know, if you had to, if you were put in the position to let them continue living, if there's something that you could leave them with to ensure that they will be okay, I mean, why wouldn't you want to do that for just about anything? Your last act as a human being on this earth could be to give someone else the gift of life. So it's really a chance for anyone to be a superhero. So why not be an organ donor? And I, I should mention to anyone watching, about 22 people die each and every day waiting for a transplant. Andrew, keep up all the great work, my friend. I will. All right. And if you want more Good information luck, on Andrew's nonprofit, Hearts at Large, and for a peek at the photo shoot that he did with Men's Health on Stands Now, uh, check it out. You can also head to thedoctorstv.com.